Hello everyone, I'm Kichigo. Welcome back to Tales of Zestiria. So it's been a while, a several days since I last recorded. So I do believe that the last time we was just fighting optional bosses, which we're kind of doing the same here, just going around and doing some side things. And the reason why we left off in the Pendrago is that uh, we're trying to do something that will start off a side area and I think when I came here last I just brushed past everyone and didn't really speak to anyone I guess you must be disappointed but I feel pretty relieved I must say if there was to be a war it's more than likely this place would become a battlefield have the troops really started retreating there goes my chance to make it rich gentle shepherd is it true I heard you slew a dragon at Glavin Basin. I didn't even think dragons really existed, but if they do, then of course you're the one to stop them. Exactly. Oh, hi. I wonder how long this water wheel has been here for. I do hope that my grandchildren and my gr grandchildren's grandchildren can continue to stand here and watch over it. I really hope they would do something else other than just standing there watching it though. Cause I have a feeling that you're standing there both night and day. Oh, is it here? Hmm. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. There's someone I want you to meet. I'm sure you're going to get along like a house on fire. Uh, house on Did I read that right? I'm real glad it didn't get nasty, and it made me see things in different light, you know? What's important is doing right by the people I work with. Those who buy from me, those who sell to me, everyone. That's my business from now on, to put a smile on people's faces. Well, that's good. Hello? The grown-ups aren't as sad anymore. They laugh sometimes and they don't yell at me as much. I know everyone was talking about some war. They tried to hide it from me, but I found out anyway. Oh, get in this. I've been hearing rumors of a dragon appearing of all things. I take it to be a warning to all those who've lost faith in the Seraphim. I mean, like, it was a Seraphim that turned into a dragon, but... Uh... Is this... No, this must be something else. Here we were talking about going to war and seeing the troops off on their campaign. And now they say it's all over? What in heaven's name is going on? Did something happen? Oh, apparently they found the body of a child. What? One of those pickpocket kids. We thought he'd turned over a new leaf, but... I guess he was back at it. And he picked the wrong pocket. <laughs> Whoever it was showed no mercy, even for a child. Poor kid. Didn't understand the danger he was courting. That's true. I remember there used to be a whole gang of them. I bet his buddies all met the same fate, too. That's the life of a street kid. Nasty, brutish, and short. If you're a dumb thug, reputation is everything. Anyone who messes with them gets pounded into the ground. <laughs> Let's go. So is it one of the kids that we helped? The one with that... <sighs> Please don't torment yourself over this, Saray. You did what a shepherd ought to do. Thank you, Lila. But it's still... It's still hard. Can I get past? Oh. I want to see which kid it is. Is it the boy or... Well... The boy was the one that we focused on the most. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's sad. I wonder if we selected a different option. Would that have saved that child? I don't think so. Bob, I am also not 100% sure either. How much money do I have? Hmm. I 
think I already checked him before I stayed at the inn. But I just want to make sure. Yeah, so we got the mithril. Mithril circlet. Finally a VIP. Okay, so we're done with that. That Bartlow used to be a very earnest type, but somewhere along the line he decided to get his hands dirty. Now you hear the very worst rumors about him. I always figured this day would come though. He goes around saying the darnest things, just like a little kid. Just a while back he was telling me how he'd fought a dragon. Where's that important talk he promised me though, hmm? I mean, he probably did help us fight a dragon. I wanna know who she's talking about. The shepherd put a stop to the war. Pieces returned to the town once more. That and a rhyme. Hello? The trade restrictions ordered by the military chancellor have been lifted and the guards are back to their regular duties. What was all that tension about before then, I wonder? Is it true that Chancellor Bartlow has fled Lady Leaf? Apparently he was facing royal sections for his Roll in concocting a pretext for the for war. Hmm, I wonder where he is. Probably a Hellion or something. Goodness, I'm so glad that all that corruptful is over. I feel ever so grateful to the Seraphim. I'll come and see you again soon. I heard from a trusted acquaintance that we are currently in the process of making peace with Rollins. We owe this happy outward to the outcome to the blessing of the seraphim. And help from the shepherd, but whatever. What do you mean you want to counsel them all? But you're my best client. There's no war, there's no need to order things. Father, thank you so much. All that talk of being enlisted vanished into the ether. ether. It must be because I do such great service to society in my everyday life. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. <laughs> what a relief to have avoided a war. War brings naught but trouble and pain for everyone. So let's go to the Noble District and see what we can see there. Maybe something that needs help or someone or something. Okay, so basically by Alicia's house. Alicia's. Okay. So let's see if we can talk to these guys. What's happening with this war then? I heard that hostilities had begun, but now the soldiers are all returning. And where uh, has Bartlow disappeared to? You'd think this would be the last time for the Chester to be running off somewhere. He is running away. Whether or not it is true, I cannot say, but I have heard reports of a dragon appearing on the battlefield. What's more, rumors are circulating that Princess Alicia and the Rollins army aided the Shepherd in exterminating it. It is difficult to know what to believe these days. Well, I can tell you that that is indeed what happened, but you probably would not believe me, because you probably wouldn't even believe me being the shepherd, so... The caravan leader is still having conniptions about all the profits we missed out on when our big orders got cancelled. Me? I've got a more positive outlook. At least now we can breathe the sigh of relief the war is off. True. Okay, let's see. Um, unless... Yeah, it's just gonna be straight ahead. Or kinda straight ahead. Does this person... Oh. 
The guards that were outside are no longer there. Oh! I can enter? Ooh, this is interesting. Hello? You must really fled if I could just walk around here. I don't think I ever came in here after the whole situation. I don't think there was any treasure chest that I couldn't get. I guess that would give you the option to opportunity to get the point of interest that's in one of these rooms. I think it's this one. This wasn't this one that we Yeah, we, we were in this room. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think there's any well I wouldn't know because I don't have a place of interest on here. I don't think there's any more. Like once we Once we get the point of interest. Oh, I should have kept it. Once we get the point of interest in here, I don't think there's any more. Hmm. Like, is there a chance for us to run into? Because I know Chancellor is not here, but does that mean everyone on the whatever council are gone as well? I thought I can always use one of those. I mean, I think I went into these rooms while I was also fighting bodyguards. I mean, not bodyguards, but guards. Oh. I probably wouldn't have been able to open this one. Maybe. I feel like I would have written it down if I wasn't able to open it. So let's go up first. So this is the Shepherd. I've heard so much about you from Alicia and the soldiers who were on the battlefield. However, this way leads to the throne room. I'm afraid I can't let you pass without prior auth authorization. It's kind of weird how we haven't really been able to meet the actual royal family. Other than Alicia, welcome to Round Table Palace, Shepard. I've heard much about you. The soldiers owe you a great debt. Um, please don't tell anyone here in the palace I said that, though. This can still go this way. Hmm. I'm glad they fixed the one window that was. Wasn't it. Oh. Crashed. Well, that they broke the glass in order to get get in. All right, nothing too eventful here. I just didn't know that the castle was open. Sure, hope this is edible. All right, now to go where I was supposed to, but I was just taken aback by the fact that I didn't see any guards. What with the ar what with the army's equipment orders being cancelled? Parts of the market are still riling. 
really. But one sailor's loss is another gain, as they say. Maybe my chance is just around the corner? Maybe. Hi! Hey! Kitty! Everyone, please don't... Hey! Quit bullying that cat! Keep it up and it'll turn into a cat hellion and get ya! Oh, thank you very much! Whoa, a cat hellion? I'm not a hellion now, I'm a cat! This is... a cat? A cat. Are you a human or just a cat? Whichever. As long as it's cute. I'd like to invite you all to Cat's Corner as thanks for lending a paw. Really? We had all been working so hard on our own. And we found out like this. It's our lucky day. I'll say. Take us there. Unfortunately, we do not allow first-timers to enter Cat's Corner. Yeah. But you just invited us. What? You have a point. Meow. Yeah. But it's a cold world out there, meow. Yeah. We have to choose between quality and quantity. Gotta make ends meet, meow. Yeah. Guess cats are high maintenance pretty much everywhere. It's definitely a hard decision to make as a business. Cat's Corner is a business? Really? Well, if so, connections are super important. Me, yeah. You got that right. You get me? Meow. Yeah. Of course, I know just what you mean. Yes, meow. Yeah. <sighs> I don't get what's going on anymore. <laughs> you just need to show us that you're a relative of a regular customer who's a high-ranking sheriff. Meow. Yeah. Well, got anything, Saray? Proof of my relationship with a high-ranking seraph. I should. I should. Because I did that before we came here. But I would definitely double check. Yeah, Gramps Pipe. So, do you have proof of anything like that? You know, look what the cat's dragon. This is Sir Zenris's pipe. A friend of his is a friend of ours. We welcome you to Cat's Corner. Aww, so cute. What do you have to say about this? Um, let's track down that turtle skin. Well, I completely forgot. He's supposed to be in the cast corner, right? I should've. I should've. Kitty cape. Cap. Not cape. Cap. Um, I have to be really careful because I don't want to go in the middle there. Cast Corner is a place where everyone can do exactly as they want. There's only one, one rule. Don't go poking your moist little nose around in other people's business, meow. Yeah. Still, I guess you could say the same thing about the world of the humans, too, meow. Yeah. People get away with all kinds of madness there. It doesn't matter if we can be seen or not. Them humans only see what they want to anyway. Look, looked at, looked at objectively, everything is the same underneath. Seraphim, humans, even aliens, meow. It's the title match for the Sardine League of the Paw and Claw Boxing Championship tonight. Whoever Mew's first meow, 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 Mew's first gets knocked out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Oh, I spent all my money. I'm glad this didn't determine the mythical stuff. That would suck. 
red chamomile. As a young feline. Wait. What was that? Oh, he's so cute. Hello. Okay, bye. As a young feline, I traveled the world as a member of the Cast Explorer Brigade, collecting up treasure mail. No, I rather go. I rather you didn't refer to it as looting, if you don't mind. Yeah, I'm not going over there. I know when I originally fought. Well, not. Bleh, I'm not saying anything anymore. This village has been here since the era of God's mail. And the way is one of the oldest of all the ruins. The Kellas even came to visit a thousand years ago. Hmm. The more I stare at my tail, the more I start pondering the mysteries of the food chain. Yeah. The fact that the fish is eating your tail? What am I? I've been asking myself that question for thousands of years. And I finally found the answer. I want to eat a tuna bowl for dinner every evening. That's my true identity. Right there, meow. What am I? I'm a... Uh, yeah, that's it. A famous cat's text says, The current of the river keeps on flowing, but its water never stays the same. If the water is the people and the current is history, the river is human, human life. See? Meow. What are we doing here? My friends have set out on trips around the world to find out. I am looking inside myself to seek the answer instead. Meow. Oh. Tiger stripe foxtails. Foxtail soup? Whoa! That foxtail is huge! Oh, we should harvest a couple pounds of it. It looks quite tasty. Ew, not sure about that. No, no. Just brown it and add water, oil, maybe some red wine. Simmer over low heat. Uh, Lila? Add in some, what is it? Onions, carrots, tomatoes, potatoes. Cover it, let it sit for three hours. Yes, we get it. Foxtail soup. Like oxtail soup. Ugh. Are you quite satisfied? Yes, thank you very much. Honestly, how can someone like you even be Prime Lord? You have to be cunning, like a foxtail. I'll kick your foxtail. Seems like Lila's the fox and we're the hen house. Well, you can't blame the fox. Not when it's handed such a tasty meal. Okay, and let's speak. Being toyed with like this is a joy that only cats and cats can understand. What? Okay, and this is where we can see all the skits, I believe. No way! You found me! You can take the cats out of the hiding place, but you can never take the hiding place out of the cats. Meow. I mean, like, there is a smiley bubble, but okay. You only come to appreciate the carefree conversations of your wee kitten good days when you're older. Meow. But then, today will soon be yesterday. Even the chat we're having right now, right meow, can be tomorrow's treasure. So yeah. Oh, well. So yeah. Well, we missed one. Eight, four, eight, ten. Yeah, I haven't been really good with the skits. But it's okay. Okay, I got all pages of 13. That's fine. Wait, that means that... Well, no. These are numbered. So that's something that we can watch in between. Like, if we... If I went to a save point or... Sloped. In between those, maybe? So I guess those would be sub-missions or sub-skits, which... I really just think that these are when you actually rest a whole lot more than what I do. Oh, 
Ooh, we missed almost all of page four in this one. And five. Hmm. That was fine. Oh, that takes me back. Sir Sandris is such great is such great fun. He get the whole town thoroughly amused. Occasionally the rain and thunderstorms he called down and a drunken frenzy proceeds my fur a bit, but I have such fun memories of those times. I wish I'd come back and see you soon, you know. Cast Pajamas is the place for adults who understand the difference between real and casual relationships to socialize and have a perfect time. For that reason, we don't let a kittens under 2,000 years old, I'm afraid. Like, I want to try it, but I also don't want to try it. Because it took me so long to deal with that stuff over there. We're not even all the way healed up, which there is a rest area, but we don't have our BG maxed out. Because uh. I think this optional boss is like level 99, and some of us are not even at level 70 yet. So maybe I'll just write it down and come back to it where we can have an easier time, maybe? Hmm. Well, let's rest. How is it resting here? Roasted chicken, mambo curry, salt grilled, okay. Oh, no skit after being in the cat's corner. And plus there's no save point here. For if there was a save point. Would you like to go back meow? Yes. You come by again, meow. Like, I would at least want to save first, because I think he's always here, yeah. I think I want to save first before attempting that, because I feel like it would take up the whole rest of the video and then part of another video, and I'm not ready to do that. Saffron. So Saffron is art defense. We can leave that there because we already healed up. So I think at this point, since we're skipping that particular optional balls. Hmm, we're about to get into another boss fight, it looks like. Okay. Give me one second. Okay, sorry about that, I am back. Alright, so I think it's going to be back to finishing the murdered children, which I think we need to go back to where they were. Yeah, looks like we're too late. Why did you kill him? Quick! Stop him, Shepard! Lila! Ah! Did we stop him? She went mad with rage right after regaining consciousness. We couldn't do anything to stop her. 
The memory of her companions getting killed had probably taken over her troubled state of mind. And so, she became a Hellion once again. In the end, I couldn't save anyone. That's not entirely true. Think about it. If you hadn't purified her, she would have killed many more. If that was the result of her grief toward her companions, then she would be beyond redemption. The lad was just... unfortunate is all. The scattered bones have delivered their vengeance. So didn't he get his wish after all? No. We just did what we had to, nothing more. That's not saving anything, if you think about it. Huh? Then why do it? <sighs> you know... How all kinds of terrible things happen in the world lately? I want to do everything I can to stop them, before they start happening all over the place. Of course, that's the duty of the Scattered Bones. Yeah. We've had our share of hard knocks too. That's why it's our duty to put an end to it if we can. Meaning... that it's your job... to kill. Yeah. But... It's true that a world where we don't have to kill would be best. Egil, Felice, Talfrin, Roche, and the others feel the same way. As do I. But Saray, you can actually save them! Have confidence and just do your thing! My job... is to give life. You got it! Where has the dog been this whole time? Oh, she got a new outfit and her title leveled up. Is it maxed? Nope. Hmm. But she did get a new outfit though, so let's see. So, Sparrow Feathers Girl. Oh, yeah, the alpha that we saw her in at the very beginning. Okay. Talk. Regrettably, I too have experienced firsthand what it is to be a Hellion. Will you leave her to me to take care of? Don't worry, her prayers for their peaceful slumber will help to sustain my blessing. The hurt that she's feeling will. Uh, one day. I'm sure of it. In the meantime, we'll take care of her. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. So next up, we'll be dealing with the legendary wyvern, which is, I think is in Pisser Bag. Alright, so... Well, hold on. Let me get back to the save point, because I think we might get uh, a skit. About what we just witnessed. One more thing to say. Oh yeah, I had one more thing to say. Thanks, Saray. Huh? For what? For not wanting me to have to keep on killing. I don't regret what I do, but I'm glad you worry for me. I do understand your resolve as the leader of the Scattered Bones, but that doesn't change how I feel about it. Stubborn as ever. Look who's talking. Well, glad we're not enemies. And I'm glad that you're my squire. Okay, so... I'm just taking the map real quick. Okay. Oh, you're almost there! Well, I'm not worried about it right now. So, let's go to Pleasure Back. Wetland. I wonder where it would be. Uh, let's just go to the first one. Whatever. If I have to fight, I have to fight. Okay. Hi there. Legendary Wyvern. Okay. So we have Dragon Winged Armored. Uh, resistance to Fire, Earth, Water. That's great. I'm sorry, I don't know very much about this mutant Hellion. Even a regular Wyvern is forced to be reckoned with. But so are we. Use all your experience so far and we can do this. I feel like a wyvern would be want to be weak to wind. 
Okay, so hold on. Okay, I think we got it. I might just um cut all that out. So this is the legendary wyvern. Please be careful. It's as strong as a dragon. Saray, let me take this one. Oh. I'm not sure if this is going to go to work. Yay! 36 challengers? Hold on. Let me... Well, I'm not trying to. This is proof that you've collected all 36. Ooh! You've poked around in every nook and cranny. You've laughed. You cried. You questioned your assumptions, but you made it. Well, thanks, game. Yeah, I don't think I got that last time. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. And no one died. Julio's. Uh, yep, no items. Yeah, I don't think I, we fought that one. I don't think. I don't remember. We managed to defeat it. Yep, yep. Yeah, finally. Savid, was this Hellion someone you knew? This is where my old comrades and I first embarked on our journey, way back when. This was a slight acquaintance. Amazing! You actually had friends, Zavid? Ouch! Right in the dignities. I wish I could meet them, Zavid. Your old comrades. Me too. But you can't, can you? Probably not. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't sweat it. It's the destiny of a long-lived Seraph to make many farewells. Destiny, huh? And hey, I'm here again in the same place. A whole new set of comrades. Life sure is funny sometimes. Is that the destiny of the Seraphim? Yep. I hope you'll remember it, Mickey boy. It'd be harder to forget it. <laughs> well said. Don't you think Savid was acting a bit weird earlier? It felt like he was hiding something from us. But he did say we were his comrades. Yeah, I think of him that way too. So do I. Then it's okay. We don't have to ask him. I trust that he'll tell us when the time is right. That's fair. Did that soothe your soul, gentle shepherd? Sorry. Thanks for lending an ear. No worries. I'll even give you a discount. Huh? It costs money? Heaven and Hill. Oh, I, I didn't read all that. So got Young Dark Wind. Young Desert's Clothes is what I liked back then. Mini Ludger. Ludger. A man in debt for those who know there is always a song for you. And then his title leveled up. Okay. Um, let's see what these look like. Oh, what not bad. That you, you just go service. Um, and I think he learned a new mystic art, right? 
heaven or hell. A lightning fast mystic art that grabs an enemy and sends it to heaven. Okay. After a four hit combo in normal state at BG5 or higher. Uh, let's see, what is his max? Four. Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's see. I'm a little bit over an hour. Um, I can't really record that long, but let me head back to a save. A job well done! That Ooh. makes 36 anomalous orbs total. Oh yeah, about the orbs. They've been around for a while and there are quite a few interesting stories behind them. I've heard before that they're condensed balls of malevolence which form after they consume Hellions. So it's quite possible that some notorious figures in history could have been under their influence, huh? You mean they have the power to change people's personalities and turn them into Hellions? Guess the humans got caught up in it without even knowing it since they don't have the resonance to see the malevolence. And if a Hellion gets possession of one, more malevolence gets fed into it until they turn into mutant Hellions. Why would anyone even make something like this? If you can't purify them, it'd be one way of reducing the number of Hellions out there. I mean, humans don't even possess the power of purification anyways. And back in those days, there were more resonant humans that could see the Seraphim in Hellions too. So you're saying it's a measure humans took to protect their kind from Hellions? It's just a temporary solution used to defer an outcome that is inevitable. That's just human nature, I guess. Always thinking about today, as if tomorrow will never come. I guess I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions without knowing more about the situation. I shall live for tomorrow! Just as long as you keep to your word. Oh, think it. Anyway, so next up, um, what I will be saving for next time is that we're going to travel back to Elysia um, entrance. So that way I would know what we're doing at the, at the beginning of the next episode. Even though it feels kind of weird and everything is kind of foreboding and stuff. But we're going to save that stuff for the next uh, episode because I'm really pressed for time. Um, so with that, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Enjoy the rest of your day or your night. And this is Kichigo signing out. Goodbye, everyone.